say? I'm in, I'm in. Sure, Deal sure. the cards. Aren't you gonna look at the cards? What for? I'm gonna bluff anyways. Who gets the coke? I get a coke. My friend Murray the policeman gets a warm coke. You still didn't fix the refrigerator? It's been two weeks now. No wonder it stinks in here. Temper, temper. If I wanted nagging, I'd go back with my wife. I'm out. Who wants food? What do you got? I got uh, brown sandwiches and uh, green sandwiches. <laughs> what do you say? What's a green? It's either very new cheese or very old meat. <laughs> I'll take the brown. Good idea. Are you crazy? You're not going to eat that, are you? I'm hungry. His refrigerator's been broken for two weeks. I saw milk standing in there that wasn't even in the bottle. <laughs> what are you, some kind of health nut? Eat, Marie. Eat. <laughs> I got six cards. That figures I got three aces, Miss Steele. <laughs> you know who makes very good sandwiches? Felix. Do you ever taste his cream cheese and pimento on date nut bread? All right, make up your mind. Poker or menus, eh? Hey! Something I did? What? It's nothing you said, it's nothing you did, it's you. Oh, I see. Well, that's plain enough. I could make it plainer, but I don't want to hurt you. What is it? The cooking, the cleaning, the crying? I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's the cooking, the cleaning, and the crying. It's the talking in your sleep. It's the moose calls that wake me up at two in the morning. Uh, yeah! Yeah! I can't take it anymore. You're making me crazy. Everything you do irritates me. And when you're not here, the things I know you're going to do when you get here irritate me. You leave me little notes on my pillow. I told you a hundred times I hate little notes on my pillow. We're all out of cornflakes, F you. It took me three hours to figure out that F you was Felix Unger. <laughs> I get the picture. That's only the frame. The picture I haven't even painted yet. I got a typewritten list in my office of the ten most aggravating things you do that drive me berserk. But last night was the topper. Oh, it was the topper. It was the ever-loving Lulu of all times. What are you talking about? The London broil? No, not the London broil. I'm talking about those two lamb chops. I had it all set up with that English Betty Boop and her sister, and I wind up drinking tea all night and telling them your life story. <laughs> so that's what's bothering you, that I loused up your evening. After the mood you put them in, I'm surprised they didn't go out to Rockaway and swim back to England. <laughs> Don't blame me. I warned you not to make the date in the first place. Don't you point that finger at me unless you intend to use it. All right, Oscar, just get off my back. Ha, ha. No! <laughs> what is that? A display of temper? I haven't seen you really angry since I dropped my cigar in your pancake batter. <gasps> Oscar, if you were asking me to hear something I don't want to say. But if I say it, then I think you'd better hear it. Well, if you've got something on your chest besides your chin, you better get it off. All right. I warned you. <sighs> You are a wonderful guy, Oscar. You have done everything for me. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would have happened to me. You took me in here, gave me a place to live and something to live for. I'll never forget you for that. You are tops with me, Oscar! If I'd just been told off, I think I may have missed it. It's coming now. You are also one of the biggest slobs in the entire world. Oh, really? And completely unreliable. Finish? Undependable. Uh huh. And irresponsible. Keep going. I think you're getting hot. <laughs> That's it. I 
times on you been told off? How do you 